What's up, I'm Alcox, I make games, play games, and everything in between, and today I'm going to show you how to spawn a ball with momentum using the set physics node. So let's go. If you're new to BuildBox and learning how to use all the custom nodes, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as I put out content around developing games in BuildBox. So starting out, let's go to create new 3D game. First thing we want to do is spawn a sphere. Why don't we make this cube spawn the ball? Detach the start to the 3D model so that it is invisible. We can still see it here, but if we hit play, then there is no cube. It's in the debug mode, but the cube is invisible. Take the cube and change it to kinematic because I don't want it moving around. I want to move the camera over here so that we are looking at everything in the proper way. Move the camera back. This cube, we want to spawn a sphere on tap. We want to add on touch, on touch and spawn, press. Then we want to spawn the sphere. Dynamic, looking good, save. Let's check this to make sure it's working properly. Tapping the screen should spawn a sphere. It's working, so that's a good start. Next, we want the ball to move forward. I'm going to go ahead and add a random color. The next thing we want to do is, is add a set physics, set physics node. Now, what this will do is once the ball is created, it will give it a physics and move it in the direction that we decide. Move these to zero, and we're going to move it to negative 6z, which is for direction. And then these are also zero, and this we're going to move to five and this will actually make the ball look like it's rotating so let's take a look and nada okay that's not good oh here we go set physics to kinematic that's where the mistake was not dynamic the spin is not the direction i would like it so let's go here move it to negative five make it you know what make it negative 15. from here we can just see things happen the ball is being created for every tap and we can even add bounce to it if we would like. Go to start, add bounce 1.5 and that is how you spawn a ball to move forward. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. I do appreciate it. All these things can be discovered by you just by spending time making games. All this I got help from other people and I just spent time trying to figure out a little bit of this, a little bit of that and using new nodes. When creating this in my game was a struggle but for you it's in a short clip so I hope you use it. If you do let me know. Stay safe. If you're in lockdown mode like me and I will see you later. Peace.